kind of impressionist, but I really do whatever pops into my head. I think I'm more of a sculptor and a writer, because writing is a type of art, it's with words. <laughs> I'm trying to veer more into like a construction, like, you know, sculpting stuff, but I'm more into like comics and like freehand stuff, and I also really like digital art. Reach has been around for 11 years, and we exist to provide art making opportunities for the Lansing community for people of all ages. So we have classes for ages 2 and up, and stuff for adults to do, and um, of course our teen open studio. So Reach is my second home, or my first home, and it's just really nice to be there. Even if I can't really do much there, it's still nice to be there and hang out with the friends or my family, basically. Yeah, the Garden Project um, had approached us with a variety of needs um, and we talked with them about what we could do and we ended up deciding on um, some sculpture installations and then some some markers for their different beds for produce that they grow. Woo! So we're like yeah we're gonna make the sculpture garden it's got a bunch of tree spirits right and you know what else has spirits? Pac-Man. They're ghosts. Wait where are you going? No it's a good idea. So that was the hardest point. When I was realizing that we might be making two gardens worth of stuff as opposed to just one. The funnest part of the project was definitely coming up with the idea. Because I think we had like so many different ideas coming through, you know, going like, oh, we can do this and we can do that. And then someone brought up like, you know, having like these little wood, you know, ghosts and stuff and you know and then Dan comes out and he's like hey we ha we actually can do this tree spirits so <laughs> when we got to the garden we saw this huge focal point tree uh, Dan Nunez our guest artist was like oh I just see all these spirits hanging in the tree and that was one of the ideas that the teens have came up with so that's how we kind of turned into multiple projects because once we saw multiple gardens we had multiple visions it looked pretty basic I mean I remember one I was, I made it way too small, so it wasn't gonna go in the garden, so I had to remake it, but it was honestly adorable because I made it a little mini tree spirit with the eye patch that had an X with a heart around. It was, it was adorable. <laughs> Making the Pac-Man was a lot of fun. Don't we really just tell you that much. Uh, so what we just, I think what we did was we had to like outline a projector screen. We were supposed to like, you know, draw the lines and then, you know, cut the lines out. And that was really interesting, but I think the, the weirdest and funnest part was putting on the fiberglass, because I've never done, a, I've never worked with fiberglass before, so it was definitely interesting. It was like, a, it was very, it was very tedious, let me just tell you that much. That was a pain with the fiberglass on. I mean, it was unreal, just because they're so young and I, go to college with a bunch of artists and I haven't seen that kind of inspiration, that kind of work ethic, that kind of excitement, except for here, this is the first time I've experienced it at that level. It's one of those things where every time I finish one of these sculptures, I'm finally in a position to build it in the first place. And that's great because I get much better at everything and, and I learn something every time, but when we set out to make Pac-Man, I mean, if someone told you, make a four foot Pac-Man, what would you do? That's the kind of question that happens here. They, they brought me to tears many a times, and if I reflect too long, I'll probably end up crying for this interview. They, they make me so proud. They remind me so much of myself to see them just so passionate, and, and I'm just proud that we're here to be able to provide that for them. Everybody say Pac-Man.